had a fight one night and I kicked me some devil butt. And I'm going to tell you how I did it. Check this out. This is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. <laughs> kind of funny. Wasn't funny when it happened because I was so angry. I didn't know what to do. But you got to hear this because sometimes it just helps to hear somebody's story. Let me tell you this one in detail. Check it out. Okay. Well, one night I'm sitting up here asleep. And I mean, I was sleeping good, baby. Now, I was sleeping on the couch because my husband slept in the recliner. He had a bad case of apnea. And I always wanted to be within ear's length when he was having a lot of tr trouble at night. So I wouldn't, you know, um, I, I wouldn't miss a crisis if he was, if he needed help. So here I am dreaming. Oh man, I'm sleeping hard. And all of a sudden, I open my eyes. I'm still dreaming now. I open my eyes and I look up from the couch and there's some something peeping in my window. Oh boy, I'm getting angry now. Ain't nobody breaking up in this house. So I'm thinking something's trying to come to break in. So I ease out the bed and I peep through the window and next thing you know my front door just slams open. And it's a woman. I mean, I wouldn't have expected men, honestly. But it's a woman. She was brazen. I mean, she had an attitude like, I dare you to try to put me out of your house. And when I come in, I stay as long as I get good and ready. And I said, oh, really now? I started rebuking her. I was so mad I didn't know what to do. Plus, in my mind, I'm protecting my husband too. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. If you wonder why I'm protecting my husband, because he's blind and he can't walk. Okay. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I command you to leave my house now in the name of Jesus. And she's looking at me like, huh? No, you're joking. And I said, uh-uh. I said, now, Lord, and thinking this in my mind, I said, now, Lord, every time I rebuke a demon, they leave. What's up? You know, what's up with this one? And then all of a sudden, oh, this was so amazing. I said, Lord, I need help. I need help. And I'm telling you, all of a sudden, I started, I felt an instinct Oh, uh, it was instinctive. Let's put it like that. I felt driven to praise God. And I started shouting God's praises at the top of my lungs. Glory to God. Bless his holy name. God is this and that. I mean, I was just spitting out every praise and, and, and glorifying compliment I could come up with. And then this is what happened. All of a sudden, my whole living room is filled with wind. I mean, it felt like uh, an, a hurricane broke out in my living room. This wind was whipping and blowing and whistling and rumbling and roaring. And I mean, it was majestic. And I'm hollering with the wind. I'm hollering praises to God and glorifying God. And I'm getting louder and louder. And she's putting her hands to her ears. And now she doesn't want to hear it. And next thing I know, my feet leave the ground. And when my feet left the ground, I must have been about a foot up off the ground. My arms instinctively stretch out wide. And when my, my arms stretch out wide, I am praising almost at the top of my lungs. And I'm feeling it now. I'm, all, I'm getting all into worship. I just felt all of God's reinforcements around me. I knew I wasn't alone in that room. I knew the angels had come to reinforce. I mean, it was the most beautiful experience. And it was such a holy power around me. And as I'm praising God, that demon is begging me to shut up. And now, here's the comical part. She Now she wants to leave. I got back down on that ground and walked over to her. And I said, you leave when I say you leave. 
And I grabbed that woman by her shoulders and praised God all in her face. I had her like this. Let me use this as an example. This is a little mirror. Imagine this is her. And I'm in her face. Praise God. God glorify. I love God. I mean, I was just going on and on and on and on. And do you know, finally, I said, oh, you can go now. And don't you ever come back in this house. Battle won. God will never leave you alone when you need help. That was a strong one. But no matter how strong that demon was, greater is God that's in me than that that's in the world. Amen. So always know that God is with you. God inhabits the praises of his people, you guys. He's not going to leave your room empty when you're filling it up with his name and glorifying who he is and blessing him and magnifying him and worshiping the Lord and the beauty of his holiness. He's not going to stand by and say, hmm, you're on your own, kid. You're not making me happy enough. No, he's going to swoop down and he's got your back, baby. 